Hello and welcome, my name is Charlotte and I am the High Heel Sitcher here on YouTube and on Instagram. I hope you're all well. This is not a proper floss tube, it is another video where are uh, on my 33 while 33 challenge. I will show you the progress that I made on the first project that I started on the 27th of September, my birthday, where I turned 33. I will show you what I will be starting today and what I will do the spinner for what I will be starting on in 11 days time. Today is currently the 8th of October. So uh, on my birthday, the 27th of September, I started Welcome Campers from The Witchy Stitcher. It is a freebie and I'm very happy to say that I have finished it. It took me a lot longer than I would have liked, but it is finished. And here it is. I had to swap out one of the bread, one of the reds and one of the greens because I didn't have those in stash. I think it turned out really, really nicely. This is on 18 count Ada that I hand dyed myself, just a yellow. That's probably quite true to colour there. So I will frame that. This was supposed to be a gift for my husband's birthday, uh, which was two days after mine, but obviously I did not get it done. I only actually finished it yesterday, the 7th of October. It was 3,640 stitches that I did do in 10 days. I think one of those days I didn't stitch at all. Oh no, 11 days and 10 stitchy days. So I'm really happy. I gave it to my husband yesterday once I finished it. I woke him up, <laughs> he was in bed. And I woke up and gave it to him. So, yeah, I need to frame it and we need to decide where it's going to go in the house. So, yes, really happy with how that's turned out. So, when I did my last video, I spun the spinner and for the project that I'm going to start today, and it picked this Christmas donkey. I've just got him from work, so I haven't started this one yet, but I will be stitching it on 28 count 2 over 110 so it'll be my first project using a uh, 10 stitch if you follow me for a while you will know that this is a restart i did start it a couple of years ago on 28 count just normal fabric but i didn't like my stitches if they kept slipping so i have decided that um I was just going to restart it, so I am restarting it. 28 count magic guide, easy count, that's all I got, <laughs> one, and I'm going to be doing 10 stitch. So, yes, I will hopefully make some decent progress on this in the next 10 days, 11 days. But uh, Dara and I are actually going away this weekend to Cardiff to watch... WWE, they're doing some house shows up there, so I am not going to take Dominic. He's a full coverage, he is a big full coverage, so I am not going to take him. I think I will probably take one of my other projects, one that is close to a finish, Tribal Turtle. I um, will hopefully try and make the time up that I missed for those three days that I'm not going to be stitching on Dominic, but um, he will get his designated 11 day stitchy time. Oh, so, now we need to spin for the project that I will be starting in 11 days on the 19th of October. So here is my, oh, here is my spinner. So let's go. 
<laughs> and it is mini once upon a time that is another full coverage okay that does mean that is both my full coverages pulled and I Oh, let me see if I can find. Bear with. It is a mini. It is by Heaven and Earth Designs. It is um, by Anne Stokes. This will be stitched on um, 18 count Ada. So. I think I've got about four full coverages on my spinner and I said I didn't want too many full coverages on the go at once so I limited myself to two full coverages once they got spun that was it if another full coverage got spun I'll have to just re-spin and it seems that um yes it's obviously full coverage time which is not a problem because I love coverage mini once upon a time okay right so i am hoping to do a proper floss tube at some point soon mm, don't know when hopefully before cardiff if not it will be monday when we get back from cardiff Uh, yeah, so that is my progress on my first full, first start, the project that I will be starting today, and the project that I have spun for my third new start on the 19th of October, which means I need to fully kit that one. Thankfully. I already had Dominic kitted from previously. I will probably need to buy one or two more skeins. Um, or I'd use them previously. But that shouldn't be a problem. But mini once upon a time. I wasn't expecting it up so soon. So I haven't kitted that one. So I am going to have to try and get that kitted. So. Short and sweet. Um, and I will hopefully see you soon. If not it will be a on the 19th for when I do my spinner again and I show you my progress on Dominic so I will hopefully see you soon <laughs>